So here we are guys, uh, here in Baclaran, like Baclaran Coast, Baclaran Church, yeah, and we will go straight ahead inside so that we can see the looks and the beauty of this church. So here are my friends, staying around, hey, hey, take a wave, take a wave. So here we go, here we go guys. The National Shrine of Our Mother of Perpetual Health, also known as the Redemptorist Church and popularly known as the Baclaran Church, is a prominent Latin Rite Roman Catholic Church in the Philippines. Also, this shrine is one of the largest Marian churches in the Philippines. This is some artworks in Baclaran Church. You can see that in, 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 the, in the wall that it is made by broken piece of tiles and you can see a vivid uh, ab abstract, abstract, abstract art in the, in the wall. This is the art wall of Baclaran Church. This is made of many materials such as broken tiles with many colors, paint, cement, and clay. It is originated in uh, other places in international. Uh, as you can see, uh, it is full of locks with different names and love which takes from a relationship. So guys, uh, tapos na po kami dito sa may uh, Baclaran Church. Napa ganda talaga ng mga lugar dito. Maraming pwedeng mapicturean. Super init. Kahit sobrang init mga kaigan. So ngayon pupunta kami ngayon sa susunod na lugar. At abangan nyo kung saan kami ngayon. Let's go! Ten minutes from Baclaran Church, we will ride all the way to the cultural center of the Philippines, which is called the CCP. CCP is located in Metro Manila and was opened in 1969 to promote and preserve Filipino arts and culture. It hopes to become the mecca of culture and the arts in Asia. destination which is uh, the cultural center of the Philippines which is uh, near in Manila. It is a popular theater. So here are my friends. Get, they're getting tired on this day. Yeah, it's very hot here. 
Because yeah. it's summertime, you know. So, yes. so we gotta go inside there and see what's, uh, what are the arts inside. So here we go. CCP is an important national institute of culture of the Philippines, which is architected by Leandro, Leandro V. Loxin. It holds the elite headquarters at the Tanghalang Pambansa, a structure designed by natural artists who later designed many of the other buildings in the CCP. So here we are guys, uh, here inside of the cultural center of the Philippines. Uh, you know, as you see, uh, they're so beautiful. Uh, there's more of culture and more of arts that you can see. So here are the montage. Roll video. So we can go inside here in the culture center of the Philippines. We can see the arts and uh, creations of the many Filipinos. All of the Filipinos who created here are common like uh, Diego Silang and many more. So as we get all upper here, we can see the postures, some statues and all of the wonderfulness inside in cultural center of the Philippines.
down here in cultural center and let's go to our journey we go to the next place in Zapote which is called the Zapote Bridge so see you there guys So here we guys, we are on a day two of uh, our documentation. Uh, we are here in uh, Sabaldi Beach. Did you see my friends? They say hi. So we will look around and see what we can show for it. Let's go. Sabote Bridge is a stone arc pedestrian bridge crossing the Sabote River in the Philippines. It connects the cities of Las Minas in Metro Manila and Bacoor in the province of Cavite. The bridge and its surrounding area was the site of two battles. The Battle of Sabote Bridge between Filipino revolutionaries and the Spanish colonial government in 1897. During the Philippine Revolution, and the Battle of Sabote River between Filipino and American forces in 1899 during the Philippine-American War. Because of these historic events, the bridge was designated as a National Historical Landmark by the National Historical Commission of the Philippines on September 9, 2013. This made of... made by Eduardo Castillo before he passed away in 2016. Sapote Bridge was made of masonry spanning the Sapote River. Time as the House of History, the Aguinaldo Mountain is the lowest of a focal point in the unfolding of Philippine history. Constructed in 1845, the original structure of the house was of nipa and touch material. It was reconstructed four years later using a, using a variety of Philippine hardwood. By the 1920s, major renovations saw the construction of the tower and the symbolic balcony of the house. It was also during this period the house was refurbished with architectural details of nationalistic themes, Masonic symbols, and art no view and art decos. Artis artistic style prevalent during the early 20th century. The house where the president lived was donated to the Filipino people in 1963, a year he passed away in 1964. 
the house was placed under the care of National Museum of the Philippines and was declared a national shrine through Republic Act 4039.